right so this tool is just called spectrum and we were ready to remember how many sessions uh, worked on it spectrogram yeah over here we have this info file which is a description and some prompts uh, from memory it was working kind of okay already let's run it so this is a flask application as indicated by this line here it's running locally it's not in production yet and that's what it looks like it still has the well not still i mean i might leave it there the feature for wavelet noise uh, removal this chart actually shows both right and that's what we were trying to do uh, last time without much success is um, also changing what the eeg spectrogram shows when you toggle this switch we have a a prompt for it here at the end we can't program i can't program if anyone can please do let me know happy to collaborate um for me to program anything i need to either use um, a github copilot which i had a mixed success with and i had a better success with uh, gpt4 so starting our chat start popping stuff in so obviously we have the python code we have also this javascript css and index html so let's start from index html and it has at the bottom confirm reading the code do not generate anything else sometimes this gets ignored so let's put some exclamation marks uh, for that prompt let's see what it says right so it read through the text then uh, that's great maybe exclamation marks did help because of uh, some other times it just uh, ignored me and uh, why this has a template this has a template don't like it it's kind of obvious that there's previous code there yeah don't like this one otherwise it looks okay it's like this one actually never being used can remove it hey, right let's pop it in as again confirm reading the code and do not generate anything else Ex exclamation mark read the code didn't generate much else that's great hey we also have this python code we definitely don't need that this was just for testing field field spectrogram are not being used might use them later uh, right we have these two lines i've read through the flask python code you provided it's designed for a web application that visualizes eeg electroencephalography data the code includes routes for loading and processing eeg data applying wavelet denoising generating spectrograms and calculating metrics like signal to noise ratio snr and mean squared error mse yeah that's great so yeah we need assistance with this wavelet denoise on when the wavelet denoise is turned on, the spectrogram should display the spectrum of the EEG signal after noise reduction. This means the spectrogram will show the frequencies present in the signal after the noise components have been minimized or removed by the wavelet denoising process. I actually didn't listen. I should listen to what the bot says. Let's listen to Modifier, it again. Spectrogram underscore data route to account for wavelet denoise. When wavelet denoising is enabled, apply the apply underscore wavelet underscore denoising function to the EEG data before generating the spectrogram. When wavelet denoising is disabled, use the original EEG data for the spectrogram um, right so spectrogram data is in a uh, python script of this go python spectrogram data. right we already have wavelet denoise there yeah we also want to take uh, levels Do we have levels yes we have levels that's for the levels that there Yeah, the changing, you can tell the blue, the denoise thing, essentially um, how detailed the denoising function is, the wavelet transform is, that's fine, yeah, we want to take those as well, right, they're not yet being used, that's okay, start sample, fine, window size, okay, EG data, then start sample and sample channel, if wavelet denoise, we're changing EG data changing each data 
generate a spectrogram this line expected to be the same yeah we have some uh, parameters uh, that we later can uh, make uh, inputs as well so we can play around with right and this one remains the same that's preparing response and then turning it into a json uh, instead of reading that let's best way is to just test it because it's not actually changing did we save did save yeah because it's in debugging mode so any changes i make should take effect immediately Maybe there's just not much change between noise and noise i do expect this to change just slightly but it doesn't yeah, to expect some changes there. Let's read that. Ensure that the front end sends the wavelet to noise, wavelet transform, and levels parameters in a request to spectrogram underscore data. Update the spectrogram visualization based on the response. Yeah, okay, so we need to adjust the front end as well. Can you just do that? For the front end adjustments to work with the wavelet denoising feature in your EEG data visualization application, you need to modify the JavaScript that interacts with the Flask backend. Here are the key steps to ensure the front end correctly sends requests and updates the spectrogram based on the wavelet denoise setting. Modify the JavaScript functions that send requests to the spectrogram underscore data endpoint to include the wavelet denoise, wavelet transform, and levels parameters. This is crucial for the back end to know whether to apply wavelet denoising and with which parameters. Okay. In the function that fetches and displays the spectrogram, include the logic to send the state of the wavelet denoising toggle and the selected wavelet transform and levels. Right, so we're already doing that. Do we need those constants? Yes. It has a, a placeholder in there, so it's not the full uh, function. Have to be careful with those things. This line. Right, so we're taking um, wavelet denoise transform and levels into account as well. So we can comment that one out. Uh, events listener, the more changes. Add event listeners to the wavelet denoise toggle and other related controls like wavelet type and level selectors, to update the spectrogram whenever these settings are changed. Do we already have this line? Yes. Do I still need to do that? Okay, why do I need another function? Why do I need another function? Add event listeners to the wavelet denoise toggle and other related controls, like wavelet type and level selectors, to update the spectrogram whenever these settings are changed. Do I have to add another function? If you're asking whether you need to add another function in your JavaScript code for handling the wavelet denoise feature in the EEG data visualization application, it depends on how your current code is structured and what functionality you want to achieve. Based on the previous discussion, here's a quick assessment. Yeah, stop that for a sec. To edit this, do I must have this function? Yeah, because we're already doing this kind of thing. In the context of your application, the update spectrogram function is not strictly necessary, but it does provide a clean and organized way to handle updates to the spectrogram. Does it? This function serves as a centralized handler for various events that require the spectrogram to be updated. Here are a few points to consider. Yeah, consistency is here debugging, that's fine. You could directly call fetch and display spectrogram within each event listener, like this. How many times do we do that? I'm just trying to understand the structure of the code. If your application is relatively simple and you don't anticipate the need for more complex update logic in the future, directly calling fetch and display spectrogram in each event listener is a viable option. Where is the uh, fetch and display? Vision display spectrogram while scrolling, yes. So that will be replaced, would it? If I keep this one, yeah, do I need to replace with the new function then? I would assume so. No? What? Why? No, you don't need to replace all instances of fetch and display spectrogram. Channel, start second, window size, with update spectrogram. The function fetch and display spectrogram is specifically designed to fetch and display the spectrogram based on the provided parameters, channel, start second, window size. It's used in various parts of your script where these specific parameters are known and need to be passed directly. The update spectrogram function, on the other hand, is more of a convenience function for event listeners. It's designed to be called when there's a change in any of the controls that affect the spectrogram, like the wavelet denoise toggle, wavelet transform selector, or level selector. This function retrieves the current values of these controls along with the channel, start second, and window size, and then calls fetch and display spectrogram with these values. Well, right, because I also need to be updated in here, but then I'll just take 
why not just take the original or the noise signal in raw EEG and turn it into spectrogram? Let this plot it in CWT, doesn't matter. Signal chart. Yeah, there's like a weird uh, logic to the whole to the whole thing. My original it's because my original prompt is not great. It's Using basically. the original or denoised signal from the raw EEG signal chart to generate the spectrogram is indeed a viable and logical approach. This method would ensure consistency between the displayed raw signal and its corresponding spectrogram. Here's why this approach can be beneficial and how it can be implemented. Consistency. The spectrogram directly corresponds to the raw signal being displayed, ensuring that any changes or noise reduction applied to the raw signal are accurately reflected in the spectrogram. Efficiency. Reduces the need to process the data twice for the raw signal and the spectrogram separately. This can be more efficient, especially for large datasets or complex wavelet transformations. Simplicity. Simplifies the data flow in your application. You process the data once and use it for both the raw signal plot and the spectrogram, making the system easier to maintain and debug. Okay, we'll have to make quite a few changes. Just save what we got so far. Old style, old school uh, version control. Yeah, I won't be able to use uh, GitHub Copilot for this. Uh, it's too complicated. So we need to do something Ensure with the, the back end. Flask app processes the EEG data, both original and denoised, and makes it available in a format suitable for both plotting the raw signal and generating the spectrogram. So this is real uh, EEG. If you were wondering, this is uh, recorded from the surface of the brain and recorded from an implant. You can fetch the data from uh, IEG.org if you like. I think pretty sure anyone can get the data. It just requires a simple uh, login. And uh, yes, they will have a viewer on the website as well, but that's nothing as good as this one. <laughs> Obviously, I'm biased, so don't listen to, to that. Right, so actually it's working now. Yeah, there's just not much uh, difference going on. Here you can see it's slightly changing. You can only see it with very small... Uh, uh, window size. I have to check that's actually working. Okay. And yes, some. Well, it's definitely changing. It just um, it just has a minute uh, a difference there. Maybe some other channels. Um, yeah, increasing the levels should. Well, anyway, the interface is working. So that's a good sign. Right, now it is working. We needed like a page, a page refresh. Um, right, so that, that's the EEG bit, so this is 100 seconds of uh, EEG, it has a seizure in it, so if you look at say 18 seconds or so, you can scroll through it and it shows you the spectrograms. I wish there was like, yeah, in previously I had like a play button so it could just keep uh, scrolling uh, through the file while I'm taking a break. Yeah, you have to be careful with auto scaling here as well. Yeah, it's still a bit buggy. You have to be careful with um, numbers auto scaling, like here, because this file has a seizure in it, EG, with a seizure, 16 channel EG. You can select your channel, I don't know what's happening with this one. From memory, channel 10 had a nice uh, seizure in it. And I'll just save those spectrogram plots. I have to be careful with uh, the colors there, the numbers, the scale, auto scaling, because during seizure, just refresh the page, we'll go to default, 10 second default. So you have those 1500, that's what's going on during baseline. And then when you have the seizure, so this is the epicenter of the seizure, you see this number going up to a 4,000, 5,000. So, yeah, just have to be careful with this. Cause 
kind of auto scaling stuff. Yeah, so you can differentiate between uh, baseline, EEG, and uh, something else, like seizure in this case. Yeah, so this is up and running. You can check it out yourself. Let me know what you think. Just happened there. Like a jumpy business. Yeah, I have to uh, keep testing. But yeah, this file has a seizure in it. Yeah, there's some sort of weird uh, delays that I do not uh, uh, get on the on um, when running uh, locally. It's much uh, smoother scroll and everything. But yeah, the server might be overloaded with me live streaming, so I might uh, finish finish that, finish the live stream. Uh, hopefully, that too will be uh, more responsive for you, and uh, we will go from there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment requests, complaints, uh, check the sites, provide your feedback, and I'll see you next time. Bye.